This is a Grande Pacific production. This is part two of two covering the NCE cab bus using a wall wart with a UPT panel and an NCE cab bus and using a UPT panel with a power cab system. Let's talk about making up cables here just quickly. I'm going to hold this here again. These are uh, from all electronics. These are the RJ12 plugs. Uh, I don't know what it says on there, how many were in the bag. Quantity, 150. Um, I do a lot of work uh, in southeast Louisiana and Mississippi and somewhat in Texas when I'm over there helping people and uh, I have made up a lot of cables and stuff for people so I bought them in bulk uh, but this is how this is the order numbers and what you want to buy to make up the cables uh, for the system uh, the, along with the wire you get them up 150 at a time now let's talk about tools mm. do as I say do it okay I could pull out the cheap ones that out that are still excuse me we could pull out the cheap ones that are still in the box but they've been put on the side but buy you a good tool I think this one was about twenty eight twenty nine dollars it's metal uh, you get into this part right here uh, where where those little fins come down and push those uh, copper uh, blades into the wire y you want to make sure that's being done right because it'll cause you a nightmare if that's not being done right next rule about making up your own wires as you make up one wire and you're going to con to use it test it do not go install a whole ton bunch of panels and make up 20 wires then turn the system on and expect them to work not going to happen you're not going to clamp every one of them exactly right so check each cable and each step as you go uh, it's just a fact of life people I had one that gave me fits on the back of a UPT panel and it developed afterwards and it took quite an effort to find it but eventually did find out where the bad connection was and uh, through a process of elimination uh, and basically just clamped another one on and that solved it forever but uh, you know do it each one as you go along Uh, this is uh, one of my wall warts that's plugged in, as I said before in the thing. Uh, this building was built for the railroad, so the brown plate circuits go to a switch. The white ones are just like your house, they're always on. But the brown plate goes to a switch and it gets shut off. So you see the wall wart running up here. And it's plugged in right here. to the back of the UPT panel. So, that's explained how it's doing. You can see that even though the wires continue on on the plug-in, they come in and they're from the command station is to uh, I'm going to say to the left, but I don't know how this is going to come out on the video. But anyway, and the next one continues on down. But that's an example of how to set it up and plug it in with the wall ward. Okay, so let's talk about the power cab uh, and using it a UTP panel in conjunction with a power cab. So here we have a power cab. Mm, it's a power cab. For this demonstration purposes, that's a power cab. Alright, and you got to have the flat six wire cable plugged in only way a power cab works it has to go into the left hand hole on the UPT panel the power cab has to have address of two okay PCP panel 
okay there it is now if you want to run a UPT panel say on the other side of your layout or for the purposes of having a friend over or somebody where you need another plug-in in another location then this is your UPT panel note the difference alright and this says to command station so this is your command station here so you plug the wire in right here in the back make sure I got it right okay okay so that would be connecting the UPT panel up to a PCP board to run an extension somewhere else uh, there's not enough juice in this whole system to get too much further carried away uh, other than for the one now if you get into an uh, SP5 booster that's a different game entirely and we're not going to discuss that here today because then you then you do have voltage to do things but for the simple system you may want to have end up with this type of setup uh, if you use the uh, cable here in the back to plug in an AIOU 101 or a mini panel just remember that they have to be addressed to believe it's 7, 8, or 9 uh, in the power cab system. Uh, your cab addresses for your controllers are in the 3, 4, 5 if you have an additional controller. Um, if not, go in the chat room and ask David Heap. He will give you an answer on that. He's the power cab expert. Uh, but this is just to show you you can do this but uh, again to me this would be a very limited application with you're talking about 1.5 amps here um, you can't run a whole lot of engines uh, three four engines so uh, yeah if you have a couple of single engines you don't have them consistent Believe me, you can have two or three friends over and have a layout and do a lot of switching and uh, uh, operations uh, in uh, in a fairly good sized uh, room layout and use a power cap. So that's uh, this part of the demonstration. Just a general discussion about UPT panels, and you know this is going to get down to everybody's personal choice. Um, I have a lot of visitors who come over here and operate and uh, some bring and one of the big things like I've said before in the NCE system is everybody can bring their own controller and it works some have radios some have plugins uh, some like plugins more than like radios some like radios more than like but so it all gets into a lot of personal choices here the panels are there uh, this is a process that you know some of this has been accumulated over periods of time uh, so you can add on to this as you go uh, you can you can start with one on each side of the room and then fill in and add them in by just cutting the cable and putting connections on the end just make sure you keep them straight <laughs> Uh, when you cut into a cable, you know, thumbs up, thumb down has to be well, carried out throughout as you do it. But uh, I, I just, you know, I can't get into saying what's the best way for you to do it. Uh, I have to say, if you're a club, you should have UPT panels all everywhere uh, within easy reach of everybody because then you can put the emphasis on uh, the members having their own controls so I think this just about covers uh, the cab bus it, it is pretty simple I will tell you that when I was setting this up and this you know being one two three four five we had three controllers Three pro cabs plugged in. We got to number five down there. 
everything all the screens went blank so that's 50 feet and three controllers and at that time there was no mini panels or no AIOU AIUs or ones or any of the other stuff uh, on it but it was just a lesson and as far as this this uh, pro cab right sitting here in front of you the only thing it needs the 12 voltage is volts is for is for that light in that display screen uh, the cab bus will continue if that light were out you could still use the controller if you hit all the buttons right uh, now I would like to tell you I was you know found that out because I'm so smart but <laughs> that was a blind luck dis discovery one day uh, even with the voltage out on the window the uh, cab bus still works uh, it might also explain like on a cab forward you don't have any display and all the, all you got is a little flashing light how it works most of it all works you don't see anything there so a uh, little explanation hope everybody uh, gets more out of this wall warts are designed just to add voltage and they add it correctly uh, you cannot get into a situation if you don't know what you're doing of back feeding voltage into the command station um, online because of you're dealing with a lot of variables and things you just got to be real careful with all this system so again from the grande pacific uh hope this tip will help you